I got a new fragrance and so of course I wanted to share with you a love like or let down on my brand new Greenwich Village from bond number nine if you're interested in hearing my thoughts then just keep watching Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about Greenwich Village from Bond Number no. 9. This video is a part of my Love, Like, or Let Down series. If you've never seen one of these videos from me, it's basically where I come on and give you guys my very first impression. And then I wear the fragrance, come back within the same video, and let you guys know my thoughts on it. So at that point, I give you more of a full review. And at the end of the video, I let you guys know if it ends up being a love, a like, or a letdown. So let's go ahead and get into my first impressions of this fragrance. Hey y'all, editing Aisha here. And I had to come on and tell you that I had a major YouTuber fail. I deleted my clip of my first impressions. I was going to just go ahead and delete this whole video since I couldn't refilm that portion, but I decided to give it to you all anyway. I felt really dumb when I realized what I had done, but you know, things happen. I still have a great review for you guys, so I hope you enjoy it. So it's actually been two weeks since I filmed the first portion of this video. That is longer than I normally go. But just, you know, life got in the way. <laughs> and so I have worn this fragrance now for probably about nine, ten times. I have worn it a lot over the past couple of weeks. I do wear fragrances multiple times per day, so keep that in mind. If you guys don't check out my What I Wore videos, definitely check those out. little plug in there. But <laughs> you'll see if you watch those videos that I switch my fragrances out throughout the day, depending on, you know, what I'm doing and that type of thing. So anyway greenwich village i feel like i have a good handle on so let's go ahead and get into my thoughts so this fragrance to me is a fruity floral musky type scent but then it's mixed up with ambroxan as well which gives it a different type of vibe in my opinion to me this fragrance smells very airy it smells flirty it smells fun and I think that that essence kind of remains the entire time now when I first spray this fragrance I think the ambroxan and the fruits are kind of pronounced and it gives it kind of this like cloud like essence however as i continue to wear this fragrance i do find that the florals kind of come out more and it kind of meshes more with the fruits and the ambrox and it just becomes more of a well blended fragrance where you can't really pick out the notes it just has this certain smell about it I personally think this fragrance is unisex, but if I had to choose one way or the other, I think it leans slightly more feminine. I would really want to smell this on a man to see if my thoughts would change if I actually smelled a man wearing it. I have never smelled this on a man, but just off my thoughts on it, to me, it smells unisex, leaning very slightly feminine. So when I was researching this fragrance prior to me purchasing it, I kept hearing people saying it was a beast. It was like a summertime beast mode type fragrance. And I have to say, I disagree, but let me tell you why. So to me, this fragrance smells very airy. It smells lightweight. It smells very like fresh and fun. However, it does last a long time i actually counted the hours yesterday when i wore it just so i could have them for this video but this fragrance lasted on me i could smell it on myself up to eight hours after eight hours i kind of stopped paying attention to it when i smelled it again at like the 11 hour mark it was no longer there so i'm saying eight hours pretty much is what this lasted on me now like i said to me i would count this as a lighter weight fragrance because I never felt like it felt overpowering. I felt like I can overspray this and never be too much. 
But one thing I do want to point out is that yesterday while I was at work, I got a compliment around the seven hour mark of me wearing this fragrance. So although the entire time I've been wearing this fragrance, I didn't think it projected a lot. I've never gotten any compliments on it. When I got the compliment yesterday, and I got compliments from two different people yesterday, when I got those compliments, it let me know that people smell this on me more than I think. So for me, this fragrance is one of those fragrances that you may not necessarily smell on yourself the entire time. You may think it's a skin scent, but other people can still smell it on you. And I will say as I wore this fragrance, I could smell it on myself up to like the first like four or five hours. After that, I would randomly get little whiffs of it. So I knew it was still there and I didn't have to put my nose into my skin, but the way this smells, the airiness, the lightness of it, I wouldn't necessarily qualify it as a beast because when I think of a beast fragrance, that just sounds like very like offensive almost, right? <laughs> like something that's like in your face. This fragrance people are gonna smell, but it is not an in your face fragrance. So to me, this fragrance is airy and light and fresh. And so I think it's best suited for warmer weather. So spring, summer, but I could definitely see myself wearing this year round. I don't think that it's so spring, summerish that I would feel weird wearing it in the winter. Mind you, I do live in a hotter climate. So our winters are not like super cold or anything like that. But even if I lived like say New York, like bond number nine, <laughs> I could see myself wearing this in the winter. Not when I was trying to like go all out, but I could definitely see myself wearing it in the winter. Now, as far as places that I would wear it to, I think this is pretty versatile as where as far as where I would wear it because while I've been testing this out, I've worn it to church, I've worn it to work, I've worn it just around my house, I've worn it to pick my son up from therapy. I've worn it everywhere that I go, honestly. And I have not worn it on a date night yet because I have not been on a date night, but I could definitely see myself wearing this on a more casual date night when I didn't want to be doing too much, especially if I was going to be outside. So I think it's really versatile. I think you can wear it any time of the year, but for me, it's best suited for spring, summer, and for, I feel like any occasion. I mean, it is bond number nine, so that's a fancy brand so maybe you could just reserve it for like day dates brunch that type of thing but honestly the way it smells i feel like you can wear it for any occasion so i do think this fragrance is unique i do have a couple that i'm going to show you in a second that remind me of it but overall i do think this is a pretty unique fragrance So we are at the comparison portion of this video and I want to say that all three of the fragrances I'm going to share with you that I'm comparing, none of them smell the same as Greenwich Village, but I do think comparisons help when you're thinking about buying a fragrance, especially if you're thinking about blind buying a fragrance. So the first one that I have to mention, and I hate to do this, but if you have looked up Greenwich Village, if you've looked at any reviews on Fragrantica, I know that you have heard comparisons to Baccarat Rouge 540, the infamous, right? <laughs> so I honestly did get Baccarat vibes when I first sprayed this fragrance. Actually, when I did the first impression portion, I said that and then I decided I was not going to include that when I edit the video because I didn't want to get into comparisons that early at first sniff. But first sniff, I definitely get Baccarat vibes and I think it's the Ambroxan in both of these fragrances and the airiness of the fragrance, like the airy sweetness of the fragrance um, that makes you immediately compare it. And Baccarat is an icon. At this point, I feel like so many people have smelled it and it is it was unique when it came out. Now there are so many dupes and everything. I don't know if people still consider it unique, but if you think about when Baccarat came out and or the first time you smelled Baccarat, you immediately thought, hmm, this is different. This is different, right? So I think that different vibe is also in here. And so that's immediately what I thought of as I smelled Greenwich Village. However, I will say now I do not get the comparison. Now that I've worn Greenwich Village a lot, I don't think they smell alike, like not really at all. 
Yeah, and I think that's a little bit strange, but at the same time, I get that because your first smell, can you ever really trust it? I would say that I lost the Baccarat vibes in Greenwich Village probably within the first couple hours of me wearing Greenwich Village. So first, very first sniff, I definitely got some Baccarat vibes, like an airier, citrusy, um, Baccarat, lighter Baccarat. But now I don't really get that at all, but I do see how people can say they smell somewhat similar. I really hope y'all can't hear the landscapers. I don't want to stop this video because if I stop it now, I don't know when I'm going to be able to get a chance to finish this. So if you do hear noise in the background, it's the people cutting our yard. Sorry. Anyway, the other fragrance that I'm reminded of when I smell Greenwich Village is none other than Initio Must Therapy. This is a newer fragrance in my collection. And when I smell Greenwich Village, as I wore it, I did think about Must Therapy. Now, do I think these fragrances are the same? Absolutely not. I think that Must Therapy is more musky and more dense, even though I would not classify this as a dense fragrance. But when I smell Greenwich Village, there is just something very airy about it. It's hard to explain. It's like a cloud of fragrance that is on your skin when you're wearing Greenwich Village. However, I do think these are in the same family. Do you need both? Mm, it depends on who you are. <laughs> But if you're just trying to be like very basic and I don't want to say basic, basic people, people misinterpret the word basic. But if you want like only one fragrance of a certain class in your fragrance collection, then you're probably not even watching this video. But if that's you, then you don't need both. Pick one or the other, which one you like better. But I, I do think they vibe the same, but they are definitely not the same. I definitely think I have room for both in my collection. And then the last fragrance that I want to compare it to is Soleil Neige from Tom Ford. Now, if I had to pick out of these three what is Greenwich Village the most similar to, it would be Soleil Neige. Do they smell the same? No. But they do like live in the same neighborhood again. Soleil Neige to me is more of a white floral solar type scent that is a warm floral, but it also has this cold nature to it. And... It does remind me of Greenwich Village. The notes are not the same, um, but for some reason they kind of smell similar. They kind of wear similarly as far as that airy kind of nature to them. So I think if you like one, you will like the other. But again, I do feel like you can have both of these in your collection um, and be good with it. Like, yes, they're like cousins, I think. <laughs> So this fragrance comes in two different sizes. It comes in a 1.7 ounce and a 3.4 ounce bottle. I do have the 3.4 ounce and this retails for $440. Now, quick note, you can find this at discounters every now and again, not very often, but if you do, snatch it up if you want it at that point, if it's a discounter website that you trust. I will say bond number nine, I feel like there are a lot of fakes out there. So I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't buy this from somewhere like eBay and probably not Mercari or anything like that. All right, so we are nearing the end of this video. So it is time for me to let you guys know if this is a love, a like, or a letdown. Now, if you've watched these videos from me before, then I think you know that at this point, you're supposed to go down in the comments and put your guess. No cheating, pause the video, put your guess down there, and then unpause and find out what I think. Okay, I think I've given you enough time. <laughs> so uh, this fragrance is... Dun, 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 dun. a love a love for me and i'm so happy about that because i felt like this was a risk and honestly when i first smelled this fragrance and i smelled the baccarat in it <laughs> i was like oh no this is not gonna be a love for me i mean i love baccarat but i don't want a dupe you know so i'm glad that i actually was able to try this fragrance out if i would smell this in store i probably would not have purchased it so the fact that I had it in my house and I actually wore it, I fell in love with it. I have worn this so much, not even for testing purposes. I've just been like, I don't know, I've been having the urge to wear it. There's something so light and fresh and kind of clean about this fragrance. And there's just something addictive about it. I think I mentioned it when I was doing my first impression, but it almost smells 
like the musk kind of smells a little bit animalic but in a very like clean skin like way and I, I there's something about that type of vibe that I am really just into right now so I have been really enjoying wearing this and it is a love for me so if you guys have tried bond number nine Greenwich Village let us know in the comments what do you think of it do you think it lives up to the hype or were you just not into it if you enjoyed this video make sure you check out my love like or let down playlist I will link it for you guys here also make sure you're subscribed and you thumbs up this video so that I know y'all like to see videos like this from me if you are not already following me on Instagram go ahead and do that now I did get my Instagram account back yay so definitely follow me on Instagram I like to chit chat with y'all over there and it's just some more laid back experience over there I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.